In this bonus episode, Damarato and Michael offer a lively and humorous tour of their new Buddhist social media website, Open Sangha Foundation. Damarato calls this the Buddhist Facebook, and it is a place where people can create a profile, join discussions and forums, access a multimedia and article library, and find Buddhist centers all around the world on their searchable Sangha map. So we're going to talk today about Open Sangha, the new venture, the networking, uh, online networking Sangha venture. Uh, maybe that's not the right way to describe it, but I have a, a profile there. It's the website. Right. Yeah, it's, thank you for setting up a profile for me there. I'm very, was, I looked at it today and was very uh, pleased to see. So maybe um, the way we should go about this is I'll ask you to explain Damarato and Michael, whichever of you seems best, to explain what it is, all about it. And if you like, Michael, you could do a little guided tour. Yeah. Uh, I've enabled screen share. I don't know if that's yeah. if you'd plan to do that. What do you reckon? Yeah, that sounds uh, splendid, in fact. Uh, show people around the site a bit would be a very good idea. <laughs> But, but first of all, Michael, seeing as you're here, maybe you could say who you are. I understand Damarato was saying you're a resident of the porch. <laughs> yeah, uh, professional freeloader, basically. No. <laughs> yeah, uh, Damarato has graciously uh, allowed me to stay here on the porch and practice the Dhamma, just chill out, have a good time. And yeah, we... Uh, play with the Open Sangha Foundation website as well. And we have a great time talking with others about the Dhamma online too, through our uh, various forms of online Sangha, whether that be Discord, Skype, and Open Sangha Foundation as well. Right. And how long have you been a resident of the porch? And where do you come from? It's been a bit over six months now that I've been staying here. I'm originally from Oklahoma, and one of the members from our online Sangha had thrown the idea at me to come visit Thailand, and so I did. And now I'm here. <laughs> I spent a bit of time at some Watts, and uh, Damarado invited me to come stay on the porch, and uh, he hasn't asked me to leave yet, so. <laughs> I'm actually hoping he'll stay. <laughs> you have been such a, uh, a great benefit. You were actually able to help quite a lot while I was sick to keep our Sangha going. Uh, and that uh, your assistance on the website has been uh, greatly appreciated. We've been able to do things uh, through your help that we weren't able to do before. Okay. So the way to get started in a grandiose kind of way, it is the Buddhist Facebook. And another way of talking about it is, is that it, it, uh, can become the go-to Buddhist site. If you're interested in Buddhism, this is the place to come. That even though it looks mostly Theravada because of the background photos and whatnot, uh, all are, are welcome. The Zen and the Tibetan, the Mahayana, free uh, uh, land, anybody who is doing anything, but because we're most familiar with what's going on in Thailand, that's where a lot of the photos come from. We've got more than 2,000 photos. Uh, we've got about 6,000 people on the website. Yes, we put your uh, data on the website and as well as many of the watts. Uh, we've also had about 300 people on their own sign up. And so, uh, uh, we also have a connected Facebook account with the website and there's about 1500 uh, friends already signed up there. And so we have the software to where if any post comes up on the website, it will automatically be put onto the Facebook. 
Now, people are invited not just to do what you would normally on a news uh, website is to click and read. This is a very much interactive uh, uh, website where uh, you can find data about places all over the world. In fact, we've got quite a map that's got about 4,000 places on it where we have good complete addresses and you can find places n near you. And we also have uh, real database searches so that you can search with name, state, zip, country, city. And then we have another uh, search place where you can search for um, anything that we know. Now, this is a slow one because it actually crawls right through the entire database looking for the data that you're looking for in the search box. We also have a number of special pages. And one of the ones that I uh, have been uh, most uh, pleased with is the Bakuni page, where we have about uh, 40 articles about uh, Bikunis and, and women in the Sangha. And then we also have about 80 or so uh, uh, Bikunis or Bikuni facilities. And all of that is on one page. We also have a page for elders, all of the old dudes like Achan uh, Sumedo and Achan Amaro and Achan Pisano and Achan uh, Amaro, um, all, of, all of those, everybody is over 70. The qualifications for getting onto the elder page is over 70 and over 20 years in the Dhamma. Uh, there's also some bikunis that are on that page because the bikunis have been in operation for that many years. So uh, it also has a large number of pages. We have a lot of literature, but in fact, there is so much literature that we put a lot of it on uh, Google Drive and we have ample links for people to go from our website right into our Google Drive library. There we have a number of audio files. We've got audio files of Bhikkhu Buddha Dasa, and we've got audio files of um, uh, old retreats. So we've got a huge number of audio files. Uh, we've also got links to Podbean. We've got links to, uh, 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 let us say, uh, transcriptions of Dhamma talks that have been given. We also have a page of videos, and that video has actually a library with a pull down so that you could go to the various rooms. Like, for instance, we have Zen videos, and we have Bhikkhu Buddha Dasa videos, and Mahayana and Tibetan videos. And you can watch those videos right there on our page, or you can click and go to the YouTube site to be, watch the videos. We also have a massive uh, a PDF library of PDF books. So uh, it's actually quite a large uh, website already with more than 6,000 uh, users, uh, thousands of books, uh, but the important part is, is that anyone can upload yet another PDF file. Anyone can upload yet another video. It's a very interactive site so that people can put in what they want. But in fact, if they have uh, a facility that they go to that is not on our website, we have a page so that they can add a facility. Yeah, and there's also groups and forums and people can make their own blog posts and message each other. One of the key benefits of Open Sangha Foundation is its ability to connect people both online and also in the real world. There's a huge Sangha map uh, 
with thousands of locations on it to assist people in finding real world places to practice and make friends and delight in the Dhamma. Yes, the search is all about connecting people with people. And so when you find someone that you want to connect to, you can send them a message, you can make them a friend, you can follow them, all of that kind of stuff that's on Facebook. We've already got all of that working. Thanks to Michael. <laughs> and so all of the uh, the social media stuff uh, would be the same thing that uh, Facebook can do. We also have both groups and forums so that people can join a forum and then communicate with people uh, in that forum about uh, any topic that they want to. We've got Zen topics and Mahayana topics and Tibetan topics in the, uh, the forums. And people can actually start their own group if they want to and then invite whoever they want to to uh, join that group. Also, because of the way that uh, WordPress.org uh, operates, they operate on an email. And so uh, we have uh, uh, good email addresses. Uh, we put all of our email uh, addresses actually through Neverbounce to verify that they're, that they're good. We wound up, we've got some people on that says that their email address is invalid. Uh, but uh, if the email address is invalid, then we've already got it set so that you can't send them an email. And one of the great things about the website is, you know, there's no ads. Nobody's uh, tracking you or <laughs> trying to um, find out what your buying habits might be and this sort of thing. Uh, instead... Yes. It really is just a very open platform, and we've really enjoyed already seeing people connect on there and post some really excellent content. And we've had many volunteers come along too to assist us with the website. So anybody who's watching this video, for example, if you would like to volunteer in some capacity, yeah, reach out to us. So yes. Perhaps, Michael, you could give us a little tour. Is that, yeah. are you equipped to do that? Mm. Would you be able to share your screen, Steve? And then I could guide you around. Okay. So here we are on the site and I've logged in as myself. And this is the first page. Right. Scroll down, there's only just introductory data there. And the first thing that we find there is a video of Bhikkhu Buddha Dasa hosting the Dalai Lama. This is actually a, a site that's intending to integrate Buddhism in Western Buddhism uh, because of the, uh, let us say, divisions within Christianity that the Western mindset is, is that there are divisions in Buddhism also. And the reality is, is that there's actually only two kinds of Buddhism. Those who call themselves Buddhists, but don't really know much about it, including uh, the path to liberation. And then there is those who are noble, who understand the teachings of the Buddha and practice it well. Now, uh, this is a showing of uh, this video, which I highly recommend people to watch, is actually the Dalai Lama, Tibetan, you know him, I suppose, and Bhikkhu Buddha Dasa, who is my teacher uh, and one of the most famous monks in Thailand, in Thailand. However, in the West, he's not well known. And then on the other side is the map of Bhikkhu Buddha Dasa's home at Wat Suan Mok. And scroll down a little further, and you can see that we've got. Uh, 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 a YouTube channel here, and we also have a Discord group. And then down in the footer, you can see that there's various things. Most of those are also on the website. Uh, for instance, I've already talked about the elders and the teachers and that kind of thing. 
so you can get those. Also notice in the far uh, right hand corner at the bottom of the screen uh, is the um, the button that gives messages. Uh, it's got a little bell on it. And it pulls that up for the notifications saying that uh, Pat has followed you, I guess, and other things like this. So there's the notifications pull up. So this will help greatly with people uh, being able to communicate with each other, send each other messages, make friends, uh, have followers and following all of that kind of stuff that Facebook has. And that's just on the first page. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, let's go ahead and start with the uh, search, uh, search places and friends at the top right. And so yeah, we've got these cool backgrounds and icons that we've been adding lately. And Steve, let's go ahead and start with the Sangha maps. So yeah, if you see there's a button to the left of the Open Sangha Foundation logo on the map. Yeah, yes, yes. click on that. And you'll see that it's only got the temples. If you'll click on the all at the bottom or click on each one of them. Oh, wow, that's a lot. Wow. Okay, you can see that in fact, there's so many that it's hard to see, so. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, here you go. So this map is connected to our database. And when users add new places uh, to the website, they get added to this map. And yeah, as you can see, there's Mahayana, Shambhala, Vipassana, Tibetan Zen. So people can filter through the types of places that they're searching for. And this is one of the most common questions that I hear for people getting into the practice is, where can I go? <laughs> and this has really been a great effort to help document these places for people. Right. Mostly to find a place, you have to know the name of it. But here on this site, we facilitate all of these places. We don't have every place, but if people want a new place, they can add it themselves. Yeah, wow. Do you have a <clears throat> ratio of the different categories here? Do you happen to know what your ratio is? Actually, the most we have is Tibetan. Yeah, it looks like it. But that's that's just empirical. That's not uh, uh, statistical. Right. Okay, great. Yeah, and we've had several volunteers help us with this. And anybody out there who sees this map, yeah, if you would like to add more to it, please go ahead. It's pretty easy to do. And uh, we always enjoy seeing new places pop up on here. Wait a minute. <laughs> I know where you're going. There's <laughs> there's a porch there someplace <laughs> for everybody to know. This is a map of uh, uh, Copangan, yep. and as you can see, we do have already um, uh, three or four or five six places on this map. Even on this small island of twelve thousand, there's a number of watts, but we know about them, so we put them in. This would have been very handy when I visited you some months ago, a couple of years ago now, wasn't it? And I tracked off into the jungle and got myself thoroughly lost before I eventually tracked you down. If I'd had this map, it would have been much easier. Mm -hmm. actually, actually, if you will, go back to the website uh, map. Sure. All right, and go down to the bottom and it will say, uh, wait a minute, you didn't get too far. Wait a minute, not, no, don't scroll. But at the bottom, it says other maps and then directions to South Thailand. Click on that directions to South Thailand. And here it has absolutely easy directions to find. 
that's actually starting from Bangkok, getting uh, on on a bus or train, all the way down to the island here. And so there's the, there's the island, the way to get to it. And then scrolling down, you can see a number of photos. If you remember, there these are the photos right to our house. Yeah. How about that? That's very handy. That would have been good. A couple of years yeah. ago. <laughs> yes, well, it would people, have been. People can see me get lost, actually, in the introduction of that video, that mm -hmm. episode, which I'll link. Uh, you see me going into the jungle, and I had a picture of you on my phone, and I was just showing it to ever more confused residents of Copenhagen <laughs> as they got deeper into the jungle. It's a wonder I came out alive. Uh, go, go back to our main map. Just back. Okay. Now go down to other maps. And here you have maps of the Titnahan places. Oh, yeah. Keep scrolling. This is the Bakunis of the world. We also have this map on the Bakuni page. And then this is Sri Lanka, all of the places to go. And then this is places in Europe. And then the last map is uh, the Damakai. Yeah. So as you can see, we're all mapped up. Very handy. <clears throat> all right. Yeah. Uh, if we could, let's go ahead and go to the search page again, Steve. And so, yeah, we have various ways for people to search and find hey, teachers, friends. One thing, if you'll notice when you were on the search page before, it had a different background in different corner images. If you'll click on that search page again and reload the page, you'll find now it's got different backgrounds and different photos in the corner. So this is the kind of stuff that we've been putting on the page to try to make it beautiful enough that people are thinking that it's a good website. Yeah, and I'd like to point out, uh, Dom Arno and I have never really done much web development before. <laughs> so you've heard of two guys working in a garage to start a computer company. Well, this is two guys working, working on, on a porch. porch. <laughs> to make a social media website. Um, so yeah, as you can see, we've got lists of teachers, elders, bikunis, users as well. And we also have a button that is uh, called individual instruction. Uh, we may change that to one-on-one -on -one teachers. And what that individual instruction list is for is for showing teachers who- Click on it. Yeah, go ahead and click on it. Uh, shows teachers who teach the Dhamma online and for free, because we'd like for this to be accessible and easily accessible for people to receive the Dhamma for free. Yeah, so these are teachers that you can communicate to with our website that are actually members of our website and they actually teach the Dhamma by uh, Skype or uh, Zoom or through emails or messaging. Uh, but um, many people are looking for places to go to do retreats when in fact they don't need to do retreats. What they can do instead is um, come to this website and find an online teacher. Remember that we had talked about uh, that you thought that I was unique in the way that I teach online, one-on-one. -on -one. Well, here's all these other teachers. I still think you're unique, Damrata. Par <laughs> Pardon? I still think you're unique. Let us say ordinary. Most people think they're special, but I don't think I'm special at all. I'm ordinary, and that's what makes me special, I suppose, is because I'm ordinary, yeah. where everybody else is special. All the ordinary people are special, each one. 
Yeah, let's go ahead and check out the Bikunis page that Damrado was talking about earlier. We've been actually working on this one the past few days. And so this has a library of links for women who are interested in finding bikunis online, finding out about bikuni ordination. Uh, there's all sorts of information here uh, gathered from all over the web. And users and even bikunis themselves can add new links to this section of the website. And yeah, you can see as well, we've got uh, quite the list of bikunis here as well and ways of contacting them. And uh, we've got little biographies about them here too and their YouTube channels. Some of them have Facebook and some of them have websites and some of them have YouTubes and some of them you can message. Yeah, the Bikuni Sangha is alive and well and we wanted to show respect for that. And this, this page has been quite a lot of fun to play with and add to. Let's go and look at the detail search. And here on the detail search, you can uh, type the word uh, Dallas in just as an example into the city. And then click on search. And now you can find all the places in Dallas, Buddhist centers of Dallas. Looks like it's twice. You can scroll down and. Wow. <laughs> so on this page, you can search by lineage. You can search by tradition. You can search by state. Yeah. <laughs> it's a lot of work you put into this. Actually, it's been a lot of fun. No work involved. All right, now let's go to the general search and you can see the difference in what we're doing on that page. On the general search, um, you can actually up in that top one, you can type in something like Dhamma and it'll just give you all of the places and uh, this got Dhamma, there's too much of it. So maybe that was not a good word. I also spelled it wrong. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see, maybe there's gonna be a Dhamma. <laughs> I've broken it. Sorry. Yeah, sorry. Well, <laughs> no, this is this is a slow page because it crawls right all the way through our database, and I don't think. That... Yeah. And yeah, we've got a nice list of places in Dallas here, uh, and you can also see. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, we've got even it shows users in Dallas as well. Yeah, so this has any mention of the word Dallas um, in the database, it brings this up. Right. Yeah. Uh, so let's move to the another page. Uh, Add new facility just for a second. And this is a place where you can actually add your own new facility. So if you go down the street to uh, 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 Betty's Tibetan sitting group, you can actually add that here on this page. Hmm. And one thing that's really nice about this is, you know, especially for smaller watts or temples or meditation groups, for example, they don't have to make their own website. They don't have to decide on a locked down social media website like Facebook, where they're requiring an account uh, to even view the page. It's here, you know, anyone can add a website 
or at a facility for free and fill out the information. And yeah, we just host that for them. And they basically have their own website on our site by doing that. Or at least web page. Yeah, web page, sure. Yeah. Okay, so let's go back to the search menu one more time. Um, uh, we've done the elders and it, let's, let's do elders. It's a kind of a different page and we'll quickly go through it. As you can see, there's Dhamma B2 and Achan Amaro and uh, Achan uh, Budipata, that's a bhikkhuni, Achan Pasano, Achan uh, Ratanava, all of these are have been monks or nuns for many, many years. You also have a few lay people in there like Gil Fosdale and Santicaro and St. John Young. So these are all the elders that we have on the database. Okay, anything else? Well, that's probably enough right now. Let's go to uh, the account page or the about page, rather. And at the top, we can say about OSF. And scroll down. There's that uh, uh, video of Bhikkhu Buddha Dasa and the, uh, the Dalai Lama. Uh, and, and here, this group of people that support this are actually people here uh, who have been supported financially by Open Sangha Foundation. There's hmm. Conte Paolo. Uh, actually, Cathal uh, is uh, a monk now. Eric Zoa is a monk. Conte uh, 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 Situ is a monk. Uh, and all of these uh, monks became monks because of the help that we've given them. So we highly support people if they, if they want support from OSF. As long as we've got a little bit of money coming in, we can help them move around and help them with visas and all kinds of things. Now, down here in this list, in the volunteers, these are all the people who have helped. This list is actually quite long. These are all the people who have done something to help this website. Okay, here on the resources, we have a frequently asked question. Now, this is a very interesting page, this frequently asked questions. Because just, just click on that first one, can I volunteer? Click on that and then view the, uh, the PDF. Actually, we allow people to make changes if they want to add data to the frequently asked questions. Most sites don't do that. So we can actually make changes to the uh, frequently asked questions. Also notice that the frequently asked questions is a list that's long. Just scroll down. We have a lot of questions. <laughs> and that if people have new questions that are not in there, then they can actually upload their own frequently asked question by choosing a text file and adding it to the group. Okay, let's go to the videos now. And here we have multiple video libraries to where you can um, uh, watch a video right there. And we have pages after pages of them as well as on that pull down box. For instance, uh, go to the select library at the very top and click the Kabuta Dasa. Because I know there's some out there and then here choose, yes. And there are a couple of videos for him. Or if you want to add a new library, you can actually click uh, add the new library. But if you want to add videos to uh, the Kabuta Dasa library, here is where you add them. 
which the way that the data is stored, it takes very little to store the URL itself. And so uh, over time, we will wind up with a huge, huge uh, video library. Yeah, anybody can add their own videos and, you know, whether it be teachers, monks, uh, et cetera, and start their own video library. Okay, we also have a slideshow. You can go to that and click on the Bikuni slideshow. And here you have a bunch of uh, slides. You can click on the left or the right arrow. That's Sutadama. She was uh, uh, in South Carolina. There's the old fat monk at one time with her. This was in the back of the, uh, uh, here's where she's actually giving ordination to uh, some bakunis. And there's Maha Samsak, the old dude who runs that particular place. All right, so we can go back to the uh, resources. Go to the uh, selected post. All right, so there, there's the first person has 14 posts as well as it has all of their friends and all of their uh, followers. And you can scroll down to see how many people have actually put posts up. There's Damadasa who's got nine posts and uh, Castle has one post. No, he's got uh, seven posts, but only one friend. Pedro has got five posts. Okay, so these are posts by authors. And so you can go back uh, to uh, the community page again. And uh, so let us see, where is it? All user post. The second one down. And this is, you, you can scroll, the, the, bit, the photos are big here. Here's Ashan Cha, everything is okay. So, uh, so you have 15 pages of this. All right, so let's go back to the community page again, and you can find the groups. And anybody can join a group. They can add a new group. Right now, we only have a couple of groups in. We have one for animals and one for Sangha. People and animals, that's the only two <laughs> groups we have now. Uh, uh, the Sangha actually has 21 members now with seven posts. And there's only three members of the uh, other one. Right, so you can click on that. And this is what makes this website look so much like Facebook. And there's a little bit of, ev uh, of everything here for everyone. You know, if you're coming from Facebook or you're coming from someplace like Tumblr or Reddit uh, or wherever else, we've added different sorts of things to make you feel at home. <laughs> so yeah, if you prefer to write blogs or you prefer to talk in groups or in forums, uh, we have all types of ways for users to connect with one another. So the messages would be a page where you've gotten all of your messages. And forums would be the place where you can create forums. We also have polls uh, and things like that. And so the last thing to look at would be profile. Up at the top, and there you go. This is actually for that the user himself. 
This is his own user profile, account, password change, met his own personal messages, his own personal groups. Ah! <laughs> now, in the top right-hand corner of the uh, uh, the screen is a uh, uh, a wheel for settings, and there. You can actually click that. Thought you could click it. There, there you go. And here you can have uh, edit your profile. So you can edit your own profile there, and it changes the format. Okay. Now this is just your friends exactly. You can edit your profile, but you can still get to your friends. Oh, I know him. You can actually add photos. You can have your entire photo album. I don't think that you have any photos on there, but you can click to see that there's photos available. And you can add an album and then add photos to it. This is the messages. So those are the two messages that you and I have had together. If you had any post, you could click on post and see the, your own personal post, but you don't have any. Hmm. Okay. And then the about goes back to where the original page. Okay. Now at, at the very top, you can see that you've got uh, uh, an Instagram, you've got a website, you've got a Facebook, uh, you've got an email, you've got Google map, all of that stuff is all clickable. So that's the website. That's what it is. Well, congratulations on putting that together. Where's it? It's a work in progress. <laughs> so people can go there and make a profile. You were kind enough to put this profile together for me. People can go there and make a profile and upload photos and interact and all that sort of thing. Yeah, great. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's very highly interactive. Now, most websites for Buddhist places have me, 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 me. The only thing they have on their website is their, their facility to where here we don't have much of anything on the site about OSF, that most of it is about uh, uh, all of the places that we've compiled. Um, we've actually... Um, ask the various websites that have list of Buddhist places and they've been kind enough to give it to us. And so we've taken that, put it in our database and then augmented it with photos and right addresses and good emails and websites and all of that. So our uh, list of places is much more complete than most of the places that only have a, a, the name of the place and perhaps uh, the city that they're in and maybe a, a, a website or two on a few of them. So our data is very complete and we'll get more added to it and we can uh, use some help with from people who know more data about a place than what we have already. So how can people help out? What sort of help would you appreciate at this stage of the project? Data. <laughs> yeah and adding posts adding facilities making friends with one another messaging each other getting involved in the groups you know if there's a, a topic in spirituality or buddhism that you're interested in you can make a group about that or make a forum post about that uh, and find other people who share your same interest and so yeah, basically just using the website to interact with one another. I've also been using the website myself. Uh, there's oftentimes people will ask about how do I find a real world place to practice? And I'll just go to the website and uh, show them how to use our map and make it a lot easier for them to, to find a place. So yeah, it's all about just getting connected and uh, remembering that the Sangha is one of the triple gems, and for good reason.
Well, thank you both for the tour and orientation of the Open Sango website. Uh, what should we say in conclusion? Join. Sign up. Everyone is welcome. Make friends. No, yeah, make friends. It doesn't matter what heritage or uh, background or your kind of practice or anything. Everyone is welcome. Well, Damarato and Mikey, thank you very much. Thank you, Steve. Thank you. Thank you for listening to another Guru Viking podcast. For more interviews like these, as well as articles, videos, and guided meditations, visit www.guruviking.com.